experience living in mobile home RV parks double wide trailers in Phoenix Metro he lived in one in Mesa we went out to Sun City where they have some we're just gonna cruise around here and see what this place has to offer uh, it's pretty nice what do you think Robert Let's go inside and uh, see the golf course and the uh, wide range of homes that are here. They range anywhere from uh, single wides to double wides and uh, some are 30 feet long and some are 60 feet long. So some are like a house. Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, based on this, the uh, pamphlets we were seeing from the sales office, which when you come here you just ask them at the front gate you say hey we'd like to speak to the sales office and see this community on that list they appear to be around about what was it 147,000 or 247,000 yeah that's right 147,000 for a mobile home unit in here um, obviously, this is an RV. They do sell RVs. We saw a double water, a uh, trailer. Look at this. Is that croquet right there, or what is that? That's like grass bowling. What is this? I forgot what it's called. It's pickleball. It's called pickleball. Oh, they do the same thing at Tyler, but it's a different name. They got a softball field. Palm Creek Sales. Guest services registration. Oh, look at this. You can just ride your bike. Tell you what, in the winter time, this is just, un this is paradise on earth. I mean, eight months out of the year, this is paradise. I don't think it gets any better than this, guys. nice one I have a video of that let me show you they also have a sales lot for RVs here big country by Heartland you just hook this up to the travel trailer here let's go up here start in the bedroom first Man, I wonder how much one of these goes for. Let's see. Look at this. I wonder how much it costs. Oh my gosh. It's something else. This is quite the place. Yeah. Obviously has many of these kind of uh, RV parks and mobile home parks, but this one stands out as probably one of the best ones that we've seen that I've seen. Uh, obviously, Robert's been to a lot more of them, being that he's lived in them. Uh, here's some double wides. Actually, here's a list that you can see right here. You've got 
Uh, two bedroom, two bath, 1,280 square feet for $147,000. Got another one for that same price. Uh, two bedroom, two bath, 1,300 square feet for 147,000. So the prices do vary, but we got a tennis, tennis courts over here, Palm Creek Tennis Center. Such beautiful weather today. It's 65 degrees out. It's December 10th. So one thing that I've also noticed is a lot of these. Um, license plates. That one there is South Dakota. Their neighbors, Saskatchewan, Saskatoon, British Columbia, Alberta, Texas even, Minnesota. So these are really truly snowbirds out here. green grass. I mean, that grass is in great shape. Yeah, the clubhouse and the restaurant right over there, and that's right next to the sales office. As you can see, there's uh, an activity going on here at this... Um, I believe that's a pickleball. Is that pickleball? I don't know the exact name of it. It's like a kind of like a croquet, but you roll the ball on the grass. I see a lot of people are playing that. Oh, don't bring your pets beyond, beyond that point. Also, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, Living in Arizona, you can. We take you all around the state. Show you all around Phoenix Metro, show you around Tucson, Casa Grande, all the good places around here. You gotta get a golf cart when you come here and, it, and your license plate should say life is good because living here, life is definitely good. Uh oh, he's back. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, he's back. I already talked to them, yeah. even goes way down there. All these single wides to the right, huh? So it seems like a lot of these people, there's Tennessee right there, a lot of these people arrive out here around about, um, oh, Ontario right there. Seems like they start coming in Halloween and then by Thanksgiving they're fully here. By Christmas they're here pretty settled in. And then they'll stay until about April, March, April, May, depending on when they decide to go back. And then they just repeat do it all over again but how cool is this I mean this is paradise in here this time of year 65 degrees What do you think, Robert? I think we ought to move in. Yeah. 
we or you. <laughs> I don't think I can live here. I'm too young. Yeah, they let you visit. Yeah. Although you say I'm like 40. 45. 40? 40, 45. 45? 10 years later. And, and you're like 51. So you're only six years older than me. Yeah, you're <laughs> stupid too. Well, we were having a we were having an argument earlier, weren't we? Yeah. About who's more immature, me or you? I know I'm more immature. I don't think so. I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you're wondering, I'm really 36. Yeah, even a young guy like me, 36, I could see why I would want to live here. I mean, such a relaxed life. I, don't, I think they should ban cars, and the only car you can have in here is a golf cart. You shouldn't even let people have cars in here. <laughs> hey, the river's dry. Again, this is called Palm Creek Golf and RV Resort out here in Casa Grande, Arizona. So, if you guys enjoy videos like this, don't forget to subscribe or at least hit the like button and let us know where you're living now considering moving to one of these destinations like Florida or Arizona or Palm Springs, California where the weather is blue skies and lots of sunshine when it's snowing and frigid in Canada or up north. Like on this side they have golf course and on this side, golf course. So you want golf course property? All right, everybody. So we'll see you next time on Living in Arizona Now. This is Jeff signing out with Robert. <laughs>